It's time we had a provincial government that stood up for taxpayers rather than special interests. You know the NDP is driving us towards a $94 billion debt. They're borrowing a billion dollars every month, five credit downgrades, tax increases, seven and a half percent spending increases this year. Who's calling for all of that? Not, not, a, not the Alberta taxpayers I mean, but the government unions who are tied to the NDP. Now I pointed this out recently, and what we have to stop is the crazy ideology of the NDP. They're prepared to spend $200 million uh, to buy laundry machines so they can move uh, jobs from an pri efficient private sector contractor into the state sector. And you, you know why they're doing that. It's so that their buddies in the AUPE can get mandatory union dues to support the NDP. Oh, but the president of the AUPE didn't like me calling them out on this reality. We are proudly independent and a non-partisan union. In fact, we have policies in place that prohibit donations to any political party. Well, guess what, folks? Uh, just had to go online to the NDP's constitution. And they have this body that helps govern the party called the Provincial Council. And guess what? The AUPE, the Alberta Union of Public Employees, gets to nominate people to attend that convention and other NDP conventions, including I believe their leadership convention, I believe Rachel Notley was selected partly thanks to uh, extra votes from union delegates nominated partly by the AUPE. So we've caught them in a whopper. It says it right here that the AUPE, that is the biggest government union, is a officially linked to an affiliate participates in the governance of the NDP. It's no surprise that the NDP hired as, as the government's union uh, labor negotiator, the former chief negotiator of the AUPE. Can you talk about conflict of interest? Basically, when the NDP sits down with big government unions like the AUPE, it, it's negotiating with itself. This is another reason why we need a government in Alberta that's on the side of taxpayers. And I'm not going to be intimidated by these guys. I'll continue to call them out and their special sweetheart deals with the current NDP government.